is Hien Lien from ST Consulting. So today I'm going into a brand new topic. Growing wealth and live off your investments, free yourself from financial burdens and you can focus on what you enjoy in your life as early as possible. This require careful planning, patient and discipline. You can do this even if you are not professional in financial and investment field. Today I am sharing with you 10 tips to grow your wealth and prepare for your freedom. Yeah. Tip number 1. Make clear plan and vision for your future. Define what your financial freedom would be. Everyone has general desire for this but that is too vague. You need to be as specific as possible. Tip number 2. Saving and use saving to create future wealth by investing wisely. To save money you need to make clear financial budgeting plan how much money you get each month. How much you need to use for your living expense etc. You need to set a goal of putting aside at least 20% of your earnings for saving and investment accounts. Tip number th and you say 3. Create a budget. Establish a budget that allows you to save and invest regularly. For example, you can create separate bank accounts. Each month your monthly earning coming in. This amount is automatically divided into few different accounts that you set rules in advance. The example can be 20% for saving account for investment. 50% for living spending and housing, and 30% for rent or living accommodation. Monitor your expense and find a way to cut back you unnecessary expense. Tip number 4. Do investment from your saving to make money work for you. You need to make sure to understand and define clearly between investment and speculation. Investment is to put money in different assets so that it will generate money stream over time such as paying back dividend periodically or create return to investment to buy more assets and again also make more money to give back to you in the future. Speculation is looking to buy things to make quick money with the expectation that someone else will pay you higher price without considering if the assets will create real earnings. This is a gambling action and I do not advise you to do this as it is very risky and you can lose all your savings. Make sure diversify in your investment between different asset classes if you have not yet found a certain business that you really know about and want to put a large proportion into this. Tip number 5. Seek professional advice. Consider a financial advisor who can help you to create an investment plan tailored your goals and risk tolerance. This is important. Each person is good at something, do not take over the things that you are not fully good at. Concentrate on what you are good at and get others to do what you are not good at. Tip number 6. Reinvest dividend and interest you earn from your investment. Make money works for you. Money then makes more money. Instead of spending all the profit and income generated from your investment, reinvest it to grow your wealth to reach the financial goals you set up in tip number 1. Tip number 7. Stay informed. Keep up with market news, economic situation and market trend updates so that you can manage your investment by allocating your investment to the assets that can generate better returns. Tip number 8. Be patient. Grow wealth takes time and patience. Avoid chasing quick gains or trying to time short-term market. Stick to long-term investment strategy. TO number 9. Regular review your investment. Periodically review your investments to make sure they remain aligned with your goals or updated goals. Make adjustment necessary but avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term view. Tip number 10. Manage risks and minimize taxes. Consider your risk tolerance and adjust your investment accordingly. For example, if you are young and have high risk tolerance then you can invest more in stock and equity with higher expected return. If you are middle age and already have a sum of wealth you can allocate money more to dividend stocks or bonds or assets that create more stable income with lower market risk. Again, if you are not good at financial and investment management, get some help from experts in this field. You can also minimize taxes by getting advices from tax experts to maximize your wealth legally. To be a good investor, from my own experience, following are the first important steps you need to do. 1. Prepare yourself by learning investment knowledge through reading investment, financial and accounting books from famous and successful investors. 2. Apply and practice your learning and find the best strategy that works for you. 3. Before you find the best strategy that you can make successful investment, diversify your investment portfolio and do not put all the eggs in one basket. Remember no successes come without failures and pains. So training yourself to practice patience is very important. I hope you get some insights and learn something new from this video.
Please subscribe my channel for more future videos.